Consciousness. That's me, Jack. Totality or dumb Jack, if you will. And this is the story. So what do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Are you excited to meet some of the best players in the world right now? Come on, let me hear you. There they are. Let's let this match started.
Dodge Cyber Games 2007 Grand Finals. Please put your hands together for Sky from China. As many of you already know, Sky is the defending champion of WCG. Is he going to be able to win three consecutive Grand Finals? Sky, come on out here! Watch as two fantastic main stage players take on each other in this match. Uh, I am Sky, the player. There are player, there are the 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 player. 呃，人族这个元素就是和我们大家都很相似的一个种族嘛，对吧？然后就是就是以真正的地球上的人族为为原型创造的一些一些元素。格拉比用的是兽族奥克这样一个种族，然后兽族就是我们所知道的比较强壮的，比如说骑着狼了、骑着豹子了等等这些动物，以动物为元素的一个种族。所以我觉得，比如说我自己，我觉得我并不是一个很聪明的选手，但是我觉得格拉比他是一个很聪明的选手，所以说，我没有觉得他比我好，或者说，就是说我比他差，但我只是觉得，只是觉得他比较难打，就是觉得很难打的一个对手。沃克夫特，它是作为一种即时战略类的游戏，就是说它即时战略就是怎么说，它感觉就是说是一种，就像像下象棋、下围棋那个样子。我们刚开始的时候，我们有同样的资源、同样的棋子，就是我们在这个游戏里面看谁能够把这些棋子、这些资源运用搭配，通过你的大脑以及你的手对电脑下达的指令，然后来把这些棋子、这些资源运用运用的更好，然后来取得最后的胜利。我觉得自己并不是很聪明，就很多时候有点笨，有一些思维方法上会比别人慢上一些，所以我就觉得没有办法了。因为太笨的原因，我觉得你只能只能用很多的时间用来练习。别人一天练三个小时，但是我觉得我每天最起码要练十二个小时。
Our allies town is under siege. Press the attack. Tandorafa 那你都有点站在那个啥的话<笑> 会会适应是棍子会打他一部分<笑> 我选择了去北京所以就是说Para llegar hasta acá tuve un gran viaje, un gran trayecto porque primero fue el dinero, era bastante costoso el vuelo. Segundo, eh, estoy en un país, es primera vez que yo salgo de Venezuela. Tuve que ir a París primero, después llegué, hice transbordo en Londres. Después que llegué a Londres, me fui a Londres. 
perdón, después que llegué a París me fui a Londres, después de Londres me vine a, 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 a Eindhoven. Y en Eindhoven tuve que tomar un tren hasta acá, que es una hora, hora y media. Cuando por fin llegué a, a Rotterdam, así que tuve que caminar unos 40 kilómetros, tal vez, desde aquí cruzando el puente. Eh, después de ahí crucé el puente, caminé como unos dos kilómetros más y vine por una sola razón, para conocer a un, a un gran jugador, una gran persona que es Grubi, 4K Grubi. <risa> fighting goes against level four for th yeah, two heroes. Four, four. It's kind of, yeah, they're kind of shit. Maybe I should sometimes give up and expand to kill his uh, his main base. Yeah. But uh, he always staffed his heroes home quite well, so he could defend at least a little. A little. And then if he Because kills my axe... Because it's just one demon hunter against your whole army. Yeah, but Orb of Venom, he's standing next to his Moonwell shop. Uh, Tree of Eternity, you know how ancients uh, yeah, swat down the raiders. te saai om het menselijk ras te spelen. Ik heb liever speel ik vanuit uh, de villain. Plunderen. Dus uh, hit and run. Uh, een beetje guerrilla tactics. Volgens mij kent iedereen wel een uh, citaat uit de uh, Sensors uh, Art of War. Yeah, attack where you are not expected. And uh, if your uh, opponent is arrogant, uh, compliment him to make him overconfident. Dat vind, ik, uh, dat vind ik altijd wel cool spelen. Ja. Het is een lifetime to master. Nee, dat dacht ik wel. Zeker als je naar China gaat. We willen wel beslissend daar naartoe gaan. Zullen we niet naar China? Oké. Er zijn weinig dingen waarvoor ik in, nee, nou, geen dingen waarvoor ik in Nederland moet zijn eigenlijk mm. na de WCG. Hangt alleen af van andere toernooien, maar die zijn ja, toch ook vaak. Ja, ja, ja. Maar ja, Amerika, dat is dus net zo goedkoop vanuit China als Nederland ja, toch ongeveer. China en Korea zal veel goedkoper zijn. 
Ja. Alleen als je weer zoiets hebt als een team-evenement in Duitsland, dan is het weer duurder. Mm -hmm. Wanneer zou je dat gaan doen? Ja, liever eerder dan vroeger. Dus. En dan kan je ook een beetje een plek uitzien, zoeken waar je wil zitten. Hè, dicht bij waar je. Dus dan gaat dit wel spelen. echt door. Dan gaat het wel echt door. Oké. Okay. Ja.你需要去注册一个名字然后那时候我就已经想了很多名字我第一想的肯定是中文名字什么独孤求败了什么天下无敌了什么世界第一了这种名字那我也刚好三个字母我也请三个字母的 ID Gang 李尔峰家里的情况我不是很清楚吧，但是他生活条件也不是很好。然后我有些时候就是他，有些时候他没有钱呢，就一直我是我给他。然后我觉得像一个小弟弟一样照顾他，就这样。然后我这帮有些时候
Fredrik Weinfeldt i debatt med Mona Sahlin i riksdagen idag. Vi hör också vilka som fått årets nybyggarpris. Ett pris som belönar nya svenskar som lyckats bra med nytt företagande. This is the goodbye movie from China. I don't know who made it or... Yeah, like uh, when I said I would retire. It's very good music, but I don't understand what... what it says. I was uh, the first person to go and play uh, in Korea from Europe and to stay there for a long time. They wanted to see me lose, I think, the Koreans, because the first game I played when I got there was against the opponent that they all cheer for. So I won that game as well. I was playing under the fastest race. När Fredrik kom hem från Korea, han hade varit där i ungefär 10-11 månader, så hade han blivit mycket smal. Han hade inte ätit så mycket mat där borta och han var väldigt blek när han kom hem. Han hade mest suttit vid datan och spelat så han hade inte rört på sig speciellt mycket. Han hade inga muskler kvar nästan. Så han var, inte, han var lite förändrad så när han kom tillbaka. Han var ganska mycket förändrad tycker jag. Det var, han var bara skinn och ben och likblick och såg allmänt skygg ut. Mm, I was kind of lost because If you do something very intensive for, I don't know, since I was 12 or 13 when I played a lot, until 19, then it's really hard going back to a normal life. You get, um, or at least I got very antisocial by not being able to talk to people every day. So. I think that was the hardest part, learning to communicate and things like that. Good luck. in Singapore. I used to do a totally different job. I, I was a model before I met, before I met him. Um, and I never knew what I wanted to do. I, I always had, have a love for games, but it was only a passion, like a, a pastime, a hobby. And I didn't expect to, to go into gaming. So I guess uh, meeting him was the turning point. <laughs> He can't live in Singapore because um, in Singapore the connection to the game is not very good. So he can't do a, a lot of training in Singapore. He can only live in uh, places where there's good connection to the game.
，我当他在比赛，一个比重大的比赛 WCG， 他来西安，他是从河南，他来西安比赛，我当时正好是在西安当那个比赛的解说，当时给我留下印象很深。就是说，从内心而言，就是我们从没有训练的条件也很差，而且也没有很多人知道你。我觉得 Sky 是非常有有有潜力的。然后就是当时在什么都没有，大家在一块奋斗，到现在，我觉得，嗯，是不是能全身心的投入这个？运动寿命会有多长？因为这个项目是新兴的，我们战队才三年，就是说，呃，一个选手能打到多少岁，到一个巅峰期，多少岁走下坡路，没有，我们都不知道。像李晓峰他们、Sky 他们就是一个探路者、先行者。这是摩托车。下去坐一下吧。哎，你别管，把座椅坐。弄啥？跑七级，开，这是路上。我得送上这个，叫他给他车转了去。所以他转来钱的话，都把钱借回来了。都把钱借回来了。啊！我这个孩子是个孝顺的儿子。毕业了。毕业分事。他前面前面职业打一个。职业游戏。你这个你看，我我。你下次你下次该上下一站了，回来也还能回，回来能回来也是。回来人人都写想到想到这儿玩。谁知道谁来问我？就这么，你你也不知道。黄牛车呀，这是今天要。台上的家伙，哎，就是嘛，谁想的？其他家伙都不知道呀。哎，把路。他一说他孩子，我知道，那孩子是叫啥呀？我们给他忘了啊。李小虎。啊，对的，李李李，兄弟，我知道的。你看看，这是谁？咱咱咱教育这孩子真聪明。
2005, 2004 en 2006 ook nog. Bij elk toernooi waar ik aan meedeed was ik de favoriet. En uh, vaak maakte ik dat ook waar door, de, door het te winnen. Maar ik denk als ik mezelf nu vergelijk met toen, dat ik uh, nu een stuk betere speler ben. Maar ik win lang niet zoveel. Ik kan nu op zich ook met uh, Koreaan of Chinese spelers uh, spelen. Maar dan heb je, een, uh, heb je een internetvertraging, omdat uh, de ping, de aantal keer dat een uh, pc met een andere modem of pc of netwerk verbinding moet maken, dat maakt allemaal sprongen van daar naar hier naartoe. Dat is een uh, vertraging van 300 milliseconden uh, heen en terug. Dus stel alles wat je doet gebeurt een halve seconde later, dat, uh, dat, dat heeft dan helemaal geen betekenis meer, want dat maakt hartstikke veel uit zo'n klein beetje tijd. Why wat ik heb met Sky, om het even een directe vergelijking te doen. Juist hij is echt een beetje de, de epitome of, of mass practice. Uh, hij heeft talent, dat is zeker. Maar hij gebruikt dat in tandem met zijn uh, oefenen, zijn vele oefenen, om dus één stijl te perfectioneren. En uh, soms val ik ook ten prooi aan, aan uh, het mindless uh, drammen. Dus gewoon... Uh, Heel, langs, heel veel hetzelfde herhalen. Dat is soms ook nodig. Maar uh, ja, ik vind dat het dus vaak een, uh, een, een inslag maakt op je creativiteit. Wow. That's the best view I've ever seen. 
Really? Yeah, I mean, in China. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Where does the internet come from? Like, uh, where are the... Uh, I guess here? Uh, like, like let's a, say you have internet, does it come from only one place? You have to put cables through the whole house? Maybe you can use wireless? No, wireless is not good for gaming. Okay. Uh, that network, that network, I think he means by, oh yeah, by a router. Uh, yeah, a, a router to connect the yeah. internet to all the computers. Yeah, obviously, but uh, and mm. uh, I'm not talking about is one PC faster than the other. Uh, the like the download and upload speed has to be good, and the ping has to be good. Yeah. Uh, it, well, if the internet is not good, we, we there's even no point in coming here. Yeah. We have the swimming pool. And yeah. Place for our children to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that a swimming pool?现在要进行的是MYM和WE战队的第四场比赛 Thank you.
。我记得我，他第一次拉我手的时候，当时是在洛阳，然后他脸很红，我脸也很红。当时是在洛阳很繁华的一条步行街路口的地方，我们过马路的时候，他忽然拉着我的手，当时有很多阳光照下来，我当时感觉特别特别好，然后我就觉得。那个时候觉得他很很纯真的一个人，他也就表达了一些就是想让我做他女朋友的这样一些意思，然后我就说，也是半开玩笑半认真的就说就说好啊，我就说那你拿到中国去冠军的话，我就做你女朋友。嗯，可能在中国有都说觉得说，男人有钱就会变坏，同样男人出名也会变坏，不能说没有这个顾虑，只能说在这件事情没有发生之前，我还是不把它列入我的日程之内，不去预知未来的悲伤，我觉得那样还好。他在面对粉丝的时候，就会拿出他那种很阳光，然后很公众的形象对他们。可能在我面前，他不会那样表现。真的，很坦率的一个人，脾气好与不好，我真的看得一清二楚。我会觉得落差很大。但是，你是要跟一个人生活的，你不是要去看他比赛，不是要去看他表演，你要的就是他生活的那一面。可能他不完美，但是我不需要他太完美的那一面。<笑>像在学校那个时候，身体不好，每次我生病的时候，然后去医院，都是我自己一个人。当时我们争吵的焦点就在这，我觉得他对我做的很不够。但是后来就是说，他跟我说，毕竟他在做这一行。他要付出比别人多十倍、多百倍的精力，去保持他现在这个水平，他也很难。后来自己想想也是，选择了，不理解也没有办法
，可能随着他越来越有名，然后我像现在为止，等于说走上一条很普通、很普通自己去走的一条毕业生的路，可能我们之间的社会差距会越来越大，但是我会通过心灵，还有我的精神、我的头脑，去慢慢缩小这种差距。我希望他能体会到，就是说。体会到我为什么一直，永远都是在心里，把它当做当年我认识的那个李小峰，而从来不把他像别人捧神拜神一样把他当做明星，当做 sky。我觉得那样，你跟一个明星生活的话，我觉得你心里很有问题，那样不是生活。你能跟一个粉丝活一辈子吗？他会对你好一天两天一个月，他能对你好？要一个人能够包容你的好不好，两个人互相包容，我觉得需要这样，才 OK。以及 Kingston Hyper X 零八的最新包装。Sky 已经是进入了我们的主机I was playing. I had this feeling. I could see things happening before they happened. I could see movement,、uh, the way the other player moved his units. I could just by seeing them for a short while, I knew where, where they were going, even if it was、um, fog on the map. I could calculate in my head where he was going and. What he was gonna do, and it was the same in real life when I, when I got back. It's, it's a bit hard to explain and to understand. But when you're moving things so fast that you need to understand all the consequences by your movement, then it got to be the same in the real life. So it was like seeing into the future. You could. Kind of see movements happen before they happened, because、uh, like everything happens for a reason.
Uh, it's okay. The last bus goes at 9.30. How Because yesterday we were there at 9.40. The last bus just left. Was it really 9.40? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Just two minutes. Are our bags packed? <clears throat> Rubby versus Sky, Smeagol and Seed bringing you guys the match, and uh, this is the match to be watching right now. Two of the top contenders here, Tom, and uh, tell me a little bit about what are your expectations from these players for this match. We were talking a little bit beforehand. I mean, Sky, certainly the top player in China and, and a strong favorite to take this tournament. But Grubby is absolutely at the top of the Warcraft 3 scene. He has been on this pro scene so long that he uh, he he definitely knows how to play under pressure. The map is Norwood. It's the largest map, and it is definitely a, a orc favorite map because the uh, orc army doesn't yes, want to, to be pushed. Normally, I always mind my things away from the bridge. Like if I'm downstairs, I'll mind down. If I'm up, I'll mind up. To mind towards the bridge. Uh, then my burrows can be close to the to the entrance. And yes, the uh, army here. I don't believe there. either player has been hurt, uh, uh, and the uh, the uh, peasant from us guy here scouts the uh, the uh, farseer from Grubby. So now he knows what what hero the uh, orc player Grubby went with. But I believe that uh, that Grubby does not know what hero Sky went went with. So he, he he'll definitely want to be uh, scouting that very very uh, quickly. But Grubby did find out where Sky is on the map. And a nice move there. Uh, his harassment has been continuous inside the base, and even though his own base was under attack for a little while, he still maintained his focus and uh, kept his attention on that Farseer, which was the key to his success possibly in this game. I was thinking well, the uh, Chinese, they stopped playing Blade on Turtle because he kept beating them, maybe because of some shitty tour. And here comes the Mountain King back inside the base of Grubby to try and keep this harassment going. The Farseer is just about to pop back out, and there it is. But I don't know whether the Farseer can defend against the Mountain King once again, who's got black, who's almost level four, however, to Grubby's level three, barely level always three. Like, yeah, he did that once against me. Not once, he always did. Okay. Especially with Beast against Farseer, but I think he All right, Grubby bringing his army dangerously close to the base of Sky. This could be a big battle right now, Tom, about to go down. Uh, Grubby's got a lot of those bat riders, and Sky's been trying to put an army together of these Dragonhawk riders and uh, Griffin riders as well. So Sky trying to defend the expo here that he put up by Grubby's base. Very Op een bepaalde punten moet je vertrouwen op wat denk je nu dat het beste is, zonder het zeker te weten. En er zijn uh, honderden T-splitsingen in de weg die je kiest, waar jij dus een keuze moet maken wat jou uiteindelijk uniek maakt. Coming in for Grubby, Sky taking a lot of damage on the Griffins, but Grubby losing most of his units there, and I really don't think that Grubby was able to kill enough of those units here, Tom. Sky's got quite a few. Look, sorry. Our hero has been slain. Cyber Games is his turn, uh, is his tournament every single year. He comes to this very, very strong, and he will be in the finals for a shot at his third straight gold medal in Warcraft 3. This is absolute dominance by Sky at World Cyber Games. Yep, there it is. Celebration a little bit, the fist pump from Sky. Anyways, that was some hot Warcraft 3. But uh, coming up now, we got Counter-Strike, I believe.
我十六进八打了格拉比，然后八进四打了荷兰的，不是打了波兰的一个一个暗夜，那个不是很强。然后四进二打了莫。赢了。是的，我把莫日了。呀，好棒啊！二比零，嘿嘿。呃，然后决赛真的，呃，对手是俄罗斯绿人组，呃，西里干，哎，得叫西里干，俄罗俄罗斯绿人组，反正明天打决赛，注意好身体啊。注意身体啊。好，你也注意好身体。好吗？好的，嗯。好，拜拜，拜拜，拜拜宝贝，嗯，帮我跟你爸爸妈妈问个好啊。好的，嗯，好，好，拜拜，再见，拜拜，嗯
Unbelievable. Sky does not do it. He wins two goals in a row, but can't capture the third. Creo comes out of nowhere and takes away the gold medal in two maps. Sky wins the first one on tearing his stance, and Creo had an uphill battle. He put on his climbing gear and took map two and map three. Unbelievable scene. Your closing comments on this Sky looks crushed to me, team. He looks crushed. He won that first game. You, you mentioned that Mario might be.